everyone, this is Kathuska and I'm bringing you this video on how to edit your photos. So what I wanted to show you today was how I might take a picture of this current project that you see in the left hand side and how I would edit that photo with my iPhone's native camera app. Before I get started on how I take my photo, I wanted to show you the background that I discussed in one of the previous posts. So as you can see here, this is a board that we had lying around that I stained on one side and painted on another. So for today, actually, I think I'm going to turn the boards around and make these this brown color so that it actually stands out against the yarn that I've chosen here. Okay, so I have turned my boards around and as you can see, there's actually a big change in the amount of light available to us once I flip the boards around. And the reason for that is that these boards on this side are actually stained a brownish color, so the brown will absorb some of the light and that is part of the reason why we don't have as much light. So what I'm going to do is use one of the reflectors that I talked about to add light to this side here so that I still have more light because I tend to like light and airy images. And I don't know if you just noticed that, but once I added this board, I now actually had a lot more light. So the board is the styrene, polystyrene that we talked about that I got from Home Depot, so you can see it. So actually let's do it without the polystyrene so we can have some ideas what this would look like. So the first thing I would do is put my yarn where I might want it um, so that I can take a photograph. And I tend to try to just be very minimal in my pictures, it's a preference. Some people like to add more things and I think you need to work with what works best for you. So I'm going to put this over this because I kind of want to hide that a little bit and hide the gap. I think that looks better. So once I've placed my fiber item the way I want it, then what I'll do is get my camera phone out and I will look for my native camera app which is right here. So once I'm in my native camera app, then what I'll do is look for the best angle that I'd want on my image. And usually that's just a matter of moving the camera either close, far, or at an angle to get the image that I want. I think I'm liking that, so what I will do here then is just click on the shutter on my native camera app, which is the, yellow, the round button, and click. And there I have an image. So I have zoomed in slightly so that you could see me editing this image right here on the phone. So what I do is once I'm ready to edit my image, I will go into this native camera app and then hit edit. So when you come in here, what you will notice that is that there are different um, functions and settings here on the right hand side. The first one is to crop and flip it which I actually like the crop here, but as you can see if you move this, uh, the corners here, it will change it. And then you can remove and resize your image whichever way you want. The next one here is some filters that my camera phone has. And for the most part I don't really like them, but if you go through them, you will get to see how the filters change the image and the look and feel of your image those appeal to you, you should definitely use them. I actually go into this one here which brings me three settings which are light, color, and black and white. Not sure if you can see that, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so the top is light, the middle is color, and the bottom is black and white. I usually go into light. In light you can see that there are different uh, functions Brilliance, exposure, highlights, shadows, brightness, contrast, and black point. As I discussed in my post, I usually work with the exposure, the highlights, the shadows, 
and the black point. So let's take a look at what uh, some of them do and we'll start with exposure. So exposure again is about how much light or lack thereof there is in an image and whether or not you want to increase it or de decrease it. So in this image um, it seems a little dark and moody. If I wanted to make it more bright and airy I would change the exposure. If I wanted to make it darker and more moody I would lower the exposure. So you could see how this exposure changes the look and feel of our image. I think I might make it slightly brighter, so I'm going to leave it there. And I would click back up here, and it'll bring up the other portions. So next is highlights. As I mentioned before, this part of the image here has a lot of light. And so this is something that I would say where the highlights are overexposed, meaning there's too much light in that area. So what I would want to do again is move my little highlights lighter to work with those highlights. As you can see, not only does the highlights change that area of the image, but also other colors in my picture. So you need to just be careful when you're playing with this and figure out how much or how little you want to change your highlights. So next I will go and work with my shadows. So again, as I mentioned before, this area here is a little bit dark and it's not normally how I take, like to take my pictures, but for the sake of this one, I wanted to show you um, how we might be able to brighten that area. So on my shadow slider, what I do is I simply go in the direction that will lighten it and see what happened there. So this is brighter, and this would make it darker. Again, this dark, darkening it here would make it much more moody, whereas brightening it would give it the look and feel that I prefer. Next, the last thing I like to play with is called black point. Now black point for me helps images look a little bit more crisp and clean and helps delineate objects in your photo. So here you can see me moving it and see what happens. Certain parts of the image have now sort of shifted. So I don't tend to do too much, so this is the original point here. I might slightly darken it just to get a little bit more of the grain um, in contrast to the yarn and make sure that these needles look a little bit more highlighted. So that's honestly, that's it for my editing of my image. I wanted to come back and show you what can happen when you add more light to your image. So the first thing I would do is, like I said before, is add the polystyrene board. Now, you can see that just by adding this, I added a whole bunch of light to this side of my yarn. Now that to me looks a lot better, a lot more crisper image that I would prefer. However, the only thing I noticed from the previous picture that we took is that there's too much light here. And my native camera app, while it's good, it didn't really resolve the highlights here. So what I might do there is use something to help deflect light. So I have a white cardstock that I could put here. And as you can see here, just by adding that, what it does is, is that it reduces the amount of light coming in. Now, I've said before you can use black cardstock, and that would totally block all of this light here, but that's not the look that I'm going for. So just adding a little bit of a white card cardstock here can help change, again, the look and feel of my image. So let's see what happens when I do it. So I'm just going to sort of place it on top of there and bring it in, just white cardstock. That might be too much. A little bit there, and then take my phone again and just look through it. And then position my phone in such a way that I can take an image. So let's say that's the look I'm going for. I take my picture, and then I go and edit it.